Welcome back to the channel. We are about ready to do another run here in ATS. We've got another load of cars. It was just simple to pick up another run of these cars that we had in our last run. In fact, the trailer is right behind us, which is very convenient. So this is going to the Dallas, Oregon. So we're going from Bend to Dallas, whatever the hell it's called, the Dallas, Dallas. We're going to do a little over the top here because it's tricky sometimes and There we go. We're going to try and make sure we don't hit anything on the way out like we did last time. I do remember that. It's been a bit of time, but it's all good to get back into ATS. So this is 119 miles. There we go. It'll be very quick. I think we've cleared every car that we were near. We were near. We're good on the left. Let's head on down the road here. It's a nice little short run. Hard to believe that this section of highway is only 45. I'm going to imagine it's going to change soon. Yeah, it's been like a week since we jumped in and did an episode of uh, ATS, and we were well overdue. Been doing a lot of GTA online, a lot of stuff like that. We're still trying to incorporate our weekend. Uh, GTA Online PC character, which I'm going to continue that despite the fact that the game has been giving me trouble a little bit. Not as bad as before, but then we're going to see if we can get the new uh, PC up and running. If I can't, then I need to return it. All right, we're still on rural roads, I think, is what the issue is. I thought we were on a highway. Technically, we were not. I'm not even going to bother taking a thumbnail for this because I already did for the previous episode, which was basically the same cargo, cars, so we'll just re reuse that thumbnail because we we'll won't go through all the trouble of stopping and all of that. And it's not laziness or anything like that. I could do it, but it's just no point in it. Try to almost guarantee, unless I can find a good spot. That's a little different than what I had before. Because there isn't really a lot of spots for... Um... Well, we're almost 20 miles over the speed limit here. There's a lot of good spots for... Uh... Making a good thumbnail. I mean, if you're going through like Vegas or someplace like that, there's landmarks galore, but... You're going through rural places, it's like, well, one tree looks the same as another tree. I'm 
you know, like the if you're going up the if you're in San Francisco or something, and you uh, the Golden Gate Bridge or something like that, you know, that's a landmark. That's something that you'd want to uh, use. But anyway, like I said, this is going to be a short episode, which is fairly nice. Maybe after the episode's finished, we will uh, I don't know. It depends when it ends. We'll rest up the character so we can reset it to daytime again. Yeah, we gotta slow down. We're going way too fast for the uh, for these roads that we're on. Looks like we got a veer left up here. Looks like some windy ass roads, so. Yeah, we didn't do a very good job on that turn, but there wasn't any cars there, so I felt like if we could we could we could pull it off. trying to keep to the outside so our trailer stays within their side of the road but sometimes it's a little hard to do that a crazy ass turn right here Pretty sure I've been up these roads before. They look familiar. I remember I didn't like them very much because I think we were stuck behind people or, or something similar to it. And they were driving like a turd, you know, like slow, slow, and which it says 25, but realistically, uh, uh, 25 is almost impossible to do. We're almost there, only 37 miles remaining. Yeah, the slower traffic's gonna keep to the right, but I guarantee you we're not gonna be the slower traffic. nobody's caught up to us. 
if we were behind them, we'd be looking at a situation where we're stuck constantly. Well, probably wherever we drop this off, we're probably going to take a delivery from there to make it quicker for the next run. And it might be cars again. Which is quite unfortunate, but once you get to the seaports and stuff like that, then there has a tendency to be like more boats and stuff. We're just not getting fussy with the road loads we get. We you know, I, I try to be. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like I want something that is between 100 and 200 miles, preferably at this point. I don't care for the long runs anymore. We didn't do a very good job right there. I wonder if this. I think we can make a right down. Let's see. There we go. So we have not made a delivery to this place yet. We did it. All right, that was a quick little run. Can't complain there. 14 minute run. So, wherever this place is. I'd like to know what the hell that is. But anyway, whatever this place is, we'll see if we can get a run from there. Because otherwise, we're going to have to travel all over the bloody place. And if we do it in um, external contracts, there's no time limit usually on the runs there. So we could rest up if it gets dark, which it will because it's uh, 6.52 p.m. in the game right now. And once we jump back in here another day, whatever, it'll be basically nighttime almost when we start running anyway guys thank you for watching if you liked it thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time